I'm going to do the last hallway. The last of the four hallways. And... Yeah, so this one's done. That one's done. Uh, I also that remember that I... I have been doing... This one's not uh, done. ...work on caves as well. That one I clearly oh, I... have a... Uh, I had a ghost block over here, apparently. <laughs> okay, so. You could do a little bit of digging. I just um, finished the last corridor. Nice. Nice, yes. Do hey! you have a redstone box? Don't poke through my stuff. I'm looking for some redstone. <laughs> like, all the redstone blocks are no. not here. Redstone blocks? Well, that's not all of them, though. What do you mean? Where did we get sponges? Oh, no, I'm what thinking of the wrong... What sort of a stupid question is that? <laughs> I'm in Sevtech mode, I'm sorry. <laughs> we can play Sevtech right. later if you want to. Block... No, I just was like, what? wait, we didn't... I'm fine with playing Sevtech. Now that I've got storage space, I can backlog as many episodes as I want. <laughs> no, it was just like, I was totally not wait, realizing that we had you are you know, looking for an actual thing. So you're looking for block blocks then? Redstone full-size block block blocks? Well, yeah, Shulker? it's not in there. Oh, No, wait. that's mine carts. Yeah. See, I was like, wait a minute. And yeah, I don't have it. Where'd that go? That's why I was like, wait a minute, because I need to make observers. Hang on, let me so I need, check. you know, redstone, and I need, oh. um, quartz. <clears throat> Does somebody have it, and they're not say Oh, oh, hey, look. <laughs> look at what somebody found. <laughs> I found it in... <laughs> there, you can have uh, that redstone back. Why, so why did I have box. all that... Oh, I probably grabbed it when I wanted to go make the, uh, the compasses. Oh, yeah. See, that would make sense. Yeah, and I probably just forgot to put it back. Y'all set? Shall I put it back in the chest over here? Uh... What did you do and what did you break and do I have to come fix it? I'm stuck in flight mode. Oh, I was just building um, and all of a sudden I'm inside the dirt. I Wait, did something, did something trigger help? above you? Help? I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm Where do stuck. I get out? There we go. I'm up. I'm coming. There go the nomads. <laughs> <laughs> Walking to a village that is not a village. I'm I'm very stuck right now, and I'm doing so. <laughs> All right. What where... do I look like on your screen? Where are you? Well, you look like you're just standing there. I do not look like I'm standing there on my screen. Does that help? No. <laughs> you're still in flight mode. Yes. All I see is my feet. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, hang on a second. I'm trying to think. Ow! Like, why am I taking damage? I'm taking damage on your side too, aren't I? Yes, yes. Don't, don't, uh, don't move around. Don't move around. Wee. Oh, I don't want to do on. that over here. I would end up in the lava. <laughs> oh, I forgot we have a. Uh... Oh, now I'm down in a nope, hole. Nope. Hang on, hang on. Help. Nope, stay here. Stay here. Help. Stay... Wait, wait. Just stay in the hole. I, I... Did that? No that not land you? No. Um, I'm, I'm face down in a hole. Maybe if I crouch? There you go! I fixed. Okay, well that works. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of a dinky tree is that? I just fell down the stairs trying to... Like, the, the, the dinkiness of this tree they like you shocked, me, high tree. shocked me so bad I fell down the pit into the stairwell. <laughs> Oh, they did give you a dinky one, didn't they? Like, what the they? crap's this? I wait, wait. That actually grew. It's like a big one. It it, it's, it, it it's, has a. It's the, oh my it's goodness! It's the little one that. that that's tried. the smallest large oak that could be. <laughs> like seriously, that's I almost that's feel awesome. like I have to leave it now. <laughs> I was gonna go it would for be those very massive difficult ones. To get a large oak that small again. <laughs> that's is, I love that. This that's is awesome. the little tree that. That tried and couldn't. It, it tried for it. It tried its heart out. Yes. Maybe I should just leave it then. I don't know. <laughs> well, and it's it's because of the. Yeah, I know. It's now twice the size of the one next to it. <laughs> Are you sure we should keep it? It's so dinky next to it. But I mean, maybe I that's don't... its character. <laughs> yeah, it means that it's. I don't not think I have the heart to take it down. 
Oh, that Ooh. happened. Is it my fault? Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Nope. I uh, I did a uh, oopsie. Did you um, miss? Where are you? Are you on I the surface? Was, no, I, I'm. I mean, right now I'm over at the. No, no, no. no. Where's your bits? In, I was. It's just down on the floor. I'll get them as soon as I get my reserve elytra. Ow! Who is not safe in here? No, I could have told you that. What, is that where your are bits you are? Oh yeah. Should be down on the floor. You see all my bits? Yep. Are you able just to bring me my bits then? Uh huh. They're all down here, right? They're not gonna be some on the platform up there. I'm pretty sure there shouldn't be anything up there because I was pretty much in a corner, I think, when I splatted. Isn't it roughly towards the corner? Uh, it's kind of spread out a little bit. Yeah. So basically, what I think, what I think it happened. So I I tried to go down in the hole and I went ahead and hit the rocket. And unfortunately, I hit my head going into the hole. Then I think I hit the platform, and then I actually splatted against the wall, kind of towards the other side corner. Where are you? And that was, I'm down inside now. Oh. I was coming down to get my elytra, which required me to go down to a uh, ender chest. I'm, I assume that's your that, that's your chest. I think I had one, on the right. Surface. Suppose you didn't have an axe on you? I should have had the axe, yeah. There. Go check again. You look through that and tell me what you're missing. Uh, elytra. I don't have the elytra. Thought you said the elytra was going to be in your ender chest. Uh, n no, no, I was flying when I splatted. Oh, well, why'd I give you a chest plate? You had that on hand? Yeah, I always keep that on hand for when I go into sticky situations. You don't have the collection system in, do you? Uh, no, no, no. I mean, I could run a wine cart over there no, if I, I mean, needed to, but no, I mean, it's not going right now. No, I mean, something wouldn't have been picked up, right? Correct. Nothing's being sucked up. I just up found two observers. Okay, so I think something might have splatted back onto the surface. Oh, I see stuff right there. Mm. Oh. This is yeah, okay. not going to be... Okay. No! Oh, I'm running the gauntlet! Oh, okay, here's an axe. I think I saw... Did you have a shulker box in your inventory? Probably. I'm managing to hit every other platform. Are you here? I'm coming over now. Oh, that's a creeper. Oh, I don't like that. I mean, if the platform gets blown up, I can replace those. That's fine. Oh, blimeys! In fact, when I was trying to put the stuff in the center of the platform, okay, that no, did have Okay, no. I a... think they're picking up your stuff. <laughs> I'm just going to knock who's... them... You got zombies over here. Oh, the zombies picking up the elytra. Probably. I didn't see it yet. I've got your axe. I'm still. I could have sworn I saw a shulk. Oh, yep. That's a, that's a skeleton wearing your elytra. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> skeletons. Creeper. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Oh. Hi. Give it up. Ow! Okay, got your elytra. And cool, even though I didn't actually do the killing blow because I did damage to him, I get the XP at the bottom. <laughs> oh, good grief. Okay, so I've got your axe. When oh, I did get a shulker, it's empty, but I got a shulker, a boat, your uh, cloak of invisibility, and your axe. Does that look like everything left? I'm I'm going to say yes. I think so. Why why are you picking up the flesh? Mar, we can't use the rotten flesh. I <gasps> What are you doing? I landed oh, right next to a creeper. Stopped. Well, yeah, that's going to happen. <laughs> Let me get over here so you don't toss... Whoa, you were doing exactly the opposite of what I was hoping you would do. <laughs> I have good aim. Okay, there, there, there we go. That looks you like it's complete? it. feel complete? I feel complete now, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, good grief. <laughs> I was in my inventory. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. 
Um, can you do me a favor? No. Can you fly up? What a weird Just request. Up high enough so that you despawn everything that's below you. Uh oh. <laughs> How high is that? You know, like 200 blocks, basically. I'm now officially above the beacon light. Is that high enough? That's good. It should be all right. Do I drift down or can I, I just, plummet? You can plummet, whichever. Whee! I just basically. If I die, it's your fault. To, <laughs> oh, good grief. I basically just have to be able to get in there to the last couple of. Hey! <laughs> Meanie. <laughs> oh, there was still a creeper that was less spawned on the top one. That's Did you funny. at least put lighting down? No, that's the thing. I've got lighting on most of the platforms, but there was one or two left that I was trying to get to that had, you know, creepers on them, and uh, I couldn't get to them. I just so. don't understand why you didn't have torches down in the first place. Well, because I didn't think I was needing it. <laughs> well, poop on a stick. <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to get in here and do what I needed to do and then continue on without having to light things up. Chocolate cookie with, like, a... a <gasps> Uh-oh. You all right? Uh-oh. Do you <laughs> need me to come over and help you? No, it's okay. Thankfully, it looks like they all despawned, so all my bits are still here. Mars failing. You're not! <laughs> Oops. Are you dying again? No! That sounded like death. There was not death. There was no message. I mean, you got close to it, it sounds like. No, just I have <clears throat> more terrain to fill in. <laughs> Are, is Mar making creeper holes? No. I might be filling a sounds, few in, but... <laughs> sounds like some creeper holes are getting made. No. <laughs> I had about 16 villagers, 16 farmers, and I had four 9x9s. That's about four right. villagers per 9x9. Nine nine. We're going to have 64 farmers. So that's 16 9x9s. Nine or their equivalent sizes, you know. Right. If anything, I feel like it's too big. Like, we need enough room for the for the buildings, yes, but we also need room outside for the farms. Unless we forego the idea of only having two entrances and not spawn proof and just like blocking off the other path so that nothing can come in. If we change our minds and go with spawn proofing everything and then building some sort of perimeter wall at the very edges of the village, then that would open up more farming space. Well, but I did like the idea of only, like what you said, only having the two entrances um, and then backing the, you know, town hall and such up to the, the back of it. Right. You could probably shrink it by um, 15 blocks more if you wanted to, I guess. If you want to make tight streets, perhaps. I don't even know necessarily if we need proper streets. Well, I mean, you would want something in there to be for where they travel between the buildings and such. I mean, if we build streets, you know they're not actually going to use them. <laughs> it depends. Look, 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 look hang what on, I Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm on a good roll here. How's that art? Yep. Yep, that definitely looks good. Can we bring it in even further? If you want. Well, I'm asking if it's if it if it would work. Um, like first of all, one of the things that I am seeing here is you could probably cut off this. Like, you could arc more along in here. Hang on. You know. Where? So, like, you know how you kind of cut off a lot of the arc over here? You didn't do that so much over here. Like, right over here, it starts going really severely close to this arc you could actually do it more like yeah and come over over come more over this way i should say and close it in like that there you go you got it 
I think that'll be a good size. Give us plenty of room. We can do, we don't have to stack the houses then. Well, I mean, we might still have to. And if it, if it really gets to be a problem, we can always just put them underground. <laughs> well, I suppose, yeah. And then this goes there, and this wait goes a there. Wait, 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 wait. This goes there, and Gru, there. Gru, Gru, stop! <laughs> no. I was planning. <laughs> He's making a mess. Look, and the grass yeah, grew on him. <laughs> well, we have a sheep right there that'll take care of that. <laughs> Is this tower a oh, good I size? See. So somebody went too on big? a somebody went on a cave lighting session and clearly missed one. I was way over there where I was <laughs> digging out before. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> Arrow to the face. Yes, I think this is way, way too big. Mm, how big is the overall building itself going to be? Not that huge. And are you doing two or are you doing four? Four. So if you're going to do feels, four towers, this is a this good is size. Better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, then if you want to put both a large kitchen and a library in here, then doing it where we're at is going to be too small, I think. Well, we can we're, we can go multiple layers, right? Because this will be a somewhat tall building, maybe two or three stories. Uh, okay. Because yes, it will tower as... above the rest of the village to a certain right. degree. We want it to be the biggest thing in the village. Okay. I, I'm picking unless up. Unless we make it, unless we add a church, that the church and the main, and the and the seat of power typically are the largest structures in a village. Yeah, it was always the two pillars of the community kind of thing. Right. And we'll probably adjust the exact position that this wall comes back to meet the 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 town hall. Right. Because I, I, I wanted the, the back end of the town hall to act as the back wall of the Correct. fort. Right. Though, now that I say that, I kind of designed it with the intention of putting in windows. You wouldn't really have windows back there. Well, yeah, you're, you're right. Maybe so have a, a small alleyway or something. All. Yeah, probably be able to do that. In which case, we'd need to um, wrap it all the way around back there, then. So how tall do you think the first floor should go? Seven, maybe? I would say that's a decent height. Because if the segments are five wide, I usually prefer to try and go for rectangular segments. So if you do five wide, seven tall is a good uh, height for it. Right. Oh, crap. <laughs> what happened? Really, I made a mistake. What can I do to, to help you? Come move everything. By what one. do you mean by move everything? Shift it one by one block. That sounds like a job for World Edit. No! <laughs> we don't cheat. I adjusted the alignment of this doorframe here without remembering that it has to match the doorframe up there. <laughs> and it doesn't anymore. <laughs> I know! <laughs> oh dear. I know! Good grief. You get stuff done so fast. Looks good. I don't like. It looks good. I, I'm gonna have a problem with the window, and maybe you can. Because it just looks different, or. No, because the idea is that I'd be putting panes or iron bars. I like. I'm partial to iron bars personally. Um, mm -hmm. but iron bars, but iron bars can't go into the stair blocks. That has got to change. They need to do something about that. Make iron bars and glass panes connect with stair blocks. Hmm. I don't think that is even yes. possible, but... That is definitely a problem. So, you'll have to either not have anything on those... You can't just have it open. Except, like, You're gonna have people well, walking no, in other words, have, like, a... Have, like, a, um... Like, maybe a shelf with a planter on it so that it's not seen as being a valid walkway. Or, you're just gonna have to stop the stuff. I mean, you could do that, too. I don't like it. doesn't it. look as nice as the other, though. Right. Or you could... 
stop the bars, you know, when they're part way up. Maybe just put them on the lower, say, two blocks. That so it doesn't look, look like you only had to stop. Well, no, not really. Yes. Still, still keeps people out, but allows, like, you know. It'd be like this, but movement. in bar form. Right. I mean, which would you prefer? This or none at all? Or up to the stairs and then stopping at the stairs? An alternative. And gone. Oh, Trixie, aren't we? But then it needs to look good from the inside, too, so all of these wall segments essentially become three wide, three deep. Right. Would that make, I mean, would that look bad? Doable. It makes this, like, a nice little alcove that they can come into. You know, you, you don't even have to really do anything archway-wise. You just give this an alcove, maybe put a couple chairs in there or something. Like that. And However, maybe I will say this much. That. Well, that would have to be around the entire thing then, right? Right, it would. For because for each one of these. So then okay. this would come back to here. Yeah. This mm. would only be one wide, which is still doable. It's not like there's anything. It's still in doable. There. Right. Because you could still put, you know, like a little, a little we could slab even... flooring or whatever. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. We could put a two we could put house twos in the corners. This is big enough for house two. All four corners, every single level, could have a house two. Yep. We, we could, could definitely we'd do put that. the doorway right here. Right here. In this block here. Moving in. Right. Yeah. I say we do it. I love when I look over there at the architect and the the townsperson, whatever. They just look like they're just what chilling. Are they doing? <laughs> what, what what are they doing do around they us? No, here's the question: Do they approve of their new abode? I mean, I don't think they have any legs to stand on. Their building they almost look, has no legs to stand on. <laughs> they look more freaked out than anything. Like, what are they building around <laughs> us? Are they holding us prisoner? Well, they are being held prisoner, but <sighs> we weren't going to tell them that. And then we have, like, this as an entryway. Yep. I like that. I like that thickness for the entryway, too. Pretty valid. Pretty valid. Oh, it doesn't have a door. Of course it's not valid. Uh, hang on! Hang on! Get a new door now. Yay! How about, are you valid up there? Yay! <gasps> What? It counts that valid way up there? What do you mean? Huh. <laughs> I didn't realize it would reach way up there. Cool. You'll have to come and see. It, I can't really explain it. Yeah, I it. need to make myself some comparators. Can't really explain it. I need to make myself some more redstone bits. Now, I am of the opinion... I know you're not going to want to hear this, but I'm of the opinion... That when I do the uh, system for the the collection or whatnot, that I should just go ahead and filter out the rotten flesh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mar, that's gonna be a lot of drops that I'm gonna have to store for zero purpose. What if we add a custom trade? Zombie flesh okay. for something. What? We don't need it. We don't need emeralds. We wouldn't get emeralds for doing it, but zombie flesh in exchange for something else that maybe is kind of hard to get, uh, like this, you know? Okay, if you want to do that, then why don't you just go old school, just like the real villagers were, put in a custom cleric, and make him take 32 for, like, one glowstone block, you know? Yeah, there's no man's. <laughs> Oh. oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> the nomads come in and open the door and then stand in the doorway. That is weird. It's because I put the door backwards. Oh. Uh... So they view it as... Uh... So they think they're on the right side of the door, I guess. But... Hello, Mr. Merchant. Just come right on in. 
Open the door, why don't you? Stop it! What? The villager! Oh. <laughs> you idiot. Dumb villager. I'm having a crazy scream. What's up? You're not gonna like it. Uh-oh. Well, better tell me anyway. Will, will, will you help me move the whole thing forward by one block? <laughs> <laughs> Why on earth are we having to move it forward one block? Okay, come here and tell me if you like this. Oh, if it require if it makes it so I don't have to move it one block, yes, I love it. <laughs> no, really, come on. <laughs> I'm I'm trying to get up there. Give me a second here. Okay, Sheepy, you gotta move. All right. So what am I what am I looking at? Do you like the the way I embedded the door a little way a little bit? Yeah, it looks good. Well, now this is two blocks. I kind of wanted it to only be one block because before it was like this, you know. But now it's like this, and I don't know that I like I mean... it sticking out by two blocks. It's even. Right. You're never supposed to build in evens. Unless you're forced to, which we have been, of course, but. Hold on, two, on three, hold on, four, hold five. on. One, two, three. Hold four, on, Mark. Five. Why? One, well, because I was trying to see if there was any way that we could counteract that, you know, by putting two, something three, else here. Four, five. But there's not, so if, if this is going to be an issue, then. We it, it's go a, it's ahead okay. Move. No, it's fine. I don't need the nether rack there anyway. I'll just build in front of it. You have to see it on this side. I like what you've done. I mean, I could not even try. Oh my goodness. See, this is why <laughs> you do all the pretty stuff. <laughs> Gosh, this is just crazy. I, I could have spent an entire day and not gotten this much done <laughs> and made it look like, you know. Like, I could have, you know, no, come put on, up though. some stuff and it's like, no, mine would have been all square. Mine... You have no idea, okay? The few things that I've tried to, like, make pretty in some of my previous spaces would take me days upon days of trying to figure out and put stuff up, take it down. And it's just like, I am impossibly incapable of doing this kind of stuff. How's that look? Almost reminds me of, like, a fireplace. <laughs> Is this supposed to look like a... I don't know if it's supposed to look like a fireplace, though. Is that a bad thing? It's not a bad thing. It definitely gives it additional texturing. It gives it a lot of extra character. I like it. I like it, I like it. You've done very good, Mar. Thanks. <gasps> What's up? I'm having ideas. Oh no, Th oh, this no. is a bad thing. This oh, is a no. bad thing. No. Mayday, Mayday, <laughs> Mars having ideas. <laughs> so you get like me then, where you'll get into doing something and then you get an idea and you're like, oh man, now I've got to do it and it's going to take me a whole bunch <laughs> of time. It is a little contradictory to prior plans. I mean, it's the second story. Right, but it's a second story with a balcony that overlooks the first story. Right. So it means we can't use any of that. Well, we wouldn't be able to use any of the, of the space here on the second floor for rooms. The rooms would be all in this walkway area. Mm. Because the windows That's here. Right. The yes. windows here we could make smaller than the windows down there. They could be totally different shaped entirely, which wouldn't be bad. That would make it very tight cramped area though. It is very common in Castle Keeps to have a basement. So then what? Library would be up here and then additional well, houses no. would be in the basement? Or we could put the versa? kitchens in the library in the basement. 
Oh, okay. And then have the bedrooms up here. And then we don't really need okay. this wall space. We would just have a balcony and four rooms in each corner. Correct. Right. That they would walk around. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. We could do it that way then. That'll work. Okay. So I could take this wall right here back out. I'm thinking arched ceilings with a large, like, chandelier type thing. Right. Not, not like a chandelier like we would think of a chandelier, but the same concept, you know, hanging baskets of fire or something. Right. All right. So I guess this is a pretty good place to wrap it up in the next time that we work on the structure. I'll try and put on the second floor, the second staircase. That's right now. I just got a, a gap in the floor, unfortunately. Right. Bit of a hard drop if, if one tumbles down there. Um, so walls, windows, and then a ceiling. And then the, are we going to do wizard cap, wizard hat t uh, tops to the towers? I was thinking we would. Okay. I mean, I think it looks cool. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, just finding ways to spawn proof it. I'll, oh, yeah, I'll have to swap out the grass for an actual floor. So, yeah, I guess I'll just uh, end the recording and wrap it up here. Sounds like a plan. Yep. <laughs>